guys hope everyone's doing well today's video is going to be about my uh, plant journal i wanted to do this for a very long time but i never got around to it and i thought it would be the perfect time now because i'm back in the traveler's notebook in this video i'll be first going over how i set up this tn passport for my plant journal and then the second part will be uh, doing my first spread together uh, the idea of a plant journal came to me first because I wanted a place where I can document um, what all of my plants needs. I have about, I would say, over 35 plants, maybe 40 at this point. And if you're curious to see my plant collection, I have a separate IG account. I'll link it down below. It's at Platinum Flora. The purpose of this plant journal is going to be for a place that I can document all the care that the plants need um, and that means light, water, schedule, and a type of soil, just anything that would help me care for my plants better. So it's a very simple setup. I have a clear folder at the front and some stickers and I printed a photo of my Maranta using the Polaroid zip and um, I really don't recommend this one because the quality is not good so if you can find another brand that would be great um, so it, it uh, acts as a photo and a sticker and I just put it at the front and then I just have this cute little um, seed packet that I got from I think paper plus cloth um, when they had this special uh, package collaboration with an artist I don't remember the name but I just keep some spare stickers in there um, and these ones are just the ones that I got from Aliexpress and I just love them they're so cute so I just keep them in there and um, at the back, I have a very dried and crinkly um, ginkgo leaf and uh, I think I got, I don't know, I don't remember, I think I picked it probably years ago and I just like the shape of it so I just kept it in there and I'm trying not to break it when I put it in. So it's a very simple setup and I just prefer that actually that is how I prefer all of my planners to be it's simple and I'm here using a Muji notebook that I purchased probably I don't know three years ago um, and I like the pages because it's a cream color and I feel like that really goes well with the green color of my leaf um, my plant leaves and the color I'm gravitating to are going to be very warm browns and reds so I think the color would really complement my collage style and it's really soft and smooth paper so in the back zip pocket I'm keeping some loose classically letterpress labels and I do plan to use uh, these uh, nice looking frame labels uh, on the back of all of my plant photos that I print out. I just wanted to create a nice consistency and a good um, look and feel to the whole journal so that's a good way of doing it so I just keep some spare ones at the back. I'm just keeping a writing board just in case if I need it. Um, I like to use it for the lines or any stamping just so I have a smoother surface. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a very, very simple setup and that's how I like to keep it um, because I do believe that less is more. So that's how I have set up my plant journal. And um, if you want to see how I am going to do my first plant spread, feel free to continue the video. And I will leave you guys with journaling and uh, the music. Thanks for watching!